Saturation refers to the intensity or the purity of color in reference to gray. A saturated image has vivid, rich and bright colors. Here are five methods to increase the saturation of a photo in Affinity Photo. Let's kick off with the most common method, the Vibrance Adjustment. By using the Adjustment button in the Layers panel, we can quickly add the Vibrance Adjustment from the list. The Vibrance Adjustment allows us to control the Vibrance and the Saturation. The main difference between the Vibrance and the Saturation sliders is that the Vibrance slider only affects the less saturated colors of an image. So the effect of the vibrance change will not be as strong on the already saturated colors, whereas the saturation slider will affect all the pixels. The next very common method is using the HSL adjustment. After we add the HSL adjustment, we can use the saturation slider to increase the saturation. Usually, increasing the saturation with the HSL adjustment will also make the colors brighter. But we could set the blend mode of the adjustment to saturation, making sure only the saturation is affected. The third method is also using the HSL adjustment, but instead of using the default HSL mode, we will use the HSV mode by turning on the HSV checkbox. We can now increase the saturation slider and this will really boost up the color saturation. Optionally, we can increase the color value by using the luminosity slider. Just like with the previous HSL method, these changes can modify your color and brightness. And setting the blend mode of this adjustment to saturation will make sure we only affect the saturation. The fourth method is a favorite of mine. We're going to add a curves adjustment this time. In the Curves Adjustment dialog, we're going to change the mode to Lab. Now we can go to the A component and tighten up the curve from the left and the right. We also need to set the same curve in the B component to make sure the colors don't shift. This is a very cool and powerful way to increase the saturation in your image. By adjusting the starting and the end points of the curve line, we can control the intensity of it. This brings us to the last method, which is using a selective color adjustment. After adding the selective color adjustment, we go to the reds and decrease the cyans to zero. In the yellow, we increase the yellow to 100. In the greens, we lower the cyan. And in the cyan, we increase the cyan. In the blue, we decrease the yellow. And finally, in the magentas, we set the magenta slider to max value. This will create a very natural boost in saturation, which you can clearly notice when I turn it on and off. By the way, you can save this as a preset by using the preset button in the adjustment dialog. This way, you don't have to set the sliders each time you need a boost in saturation. After you save your preset, it will become available in the adjustments panel. You could also save the other four methods I showed as a preset for quick access. Before I leave you, here is a quick reminder that you can use my helper layers to see the saturation. Check out the link in the description for more information about helper layers. When I apply the saturation helper, notice how the saturation is indeed increased each time I enable one of the five adjustments we created earlier. Hope you liked this video and thanks again for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons before leaving. Until the next video.